Hey, what's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you every single reward that you can obtain from the Lore Keepers pages. So these are the pages that you have to restore by collecting these snippets, taking them back to the Lore Keeper, and then solving the puzzle. Now, I also have a video that's going up a little bit later today. And it has all of the answers to the puzzles. I have a complete guide for every single puzzle. So if you need some help or you want to just follow along, you can definitely watch that video. It's about an hour long. So it's something you can definitely watch while you are doing the puzzles yourself. But yeah, let's just jump right into this. I got to say, there are some rewards on here that are so insanely good. Like you can first see them from the little thumbnail and you don't really know how great they are till you actually get them in the game. And I will say one of them is the best glider I have ever seen. It's near the end, so be sure to watch the whole video. If you guys do enjoy my content, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I have been dissecting this update down to every little secret and detail. I have tons of videos, so you can check out my channel. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. So up first is actually an item where you actually had to go through Flynn's quest line to actually obtain this item. And it is the broken teacup. So you get this by doing the puzzle that only unlocks from his level, like I think a two, level two or level four friendship quest, but it's called Aurora and the Teapot Falls. So this puzzle, once you complete it, you actually get a little teacup. Look how cute this is. I love this item. I was like wondering so, like if we would ever get a teacup item and I've been wanting this so badly and we actually ended up getting one. It has like some little leaves on the bottom here, which doesn't really blend in with the pathing as you can see. Uh, let me see, let me go over here, but it definitely does if you go over to like a different biome, it just blends in seamless, seamlessly. So let's see if we take it over to Mythopia and see if it changes colors. I haven't tested this out yet. Oh, it actually does. Okay, so it's just putting it on top of pathing that doesn't work. All right, so that's a very cool item. So up next is the Once Upon a Time in the Storybook Veil. This just looks like such an awesome tapestry. And remember, you can actually end up putting these on your wall if you would like to with uh, Merida's quest line. She unlocks some frames. Well, this one's beautiful. I'm definitely going to place it down. And with this one, we actually get a brand new tree type for completing this. And to find that tree, you literally go down here to landscaping, click on trees, and you're going to see this new tall, like skinny tree here called the fairy tale tree. And these are just so interesting. It's really nice that they're here because you don't have to like craft more. You can just duplicate them however many you want. You can place them on top of paths. Uh, you can even take them over here. As you can see, they look great in this biome. And then they are just, yeah, just little, little scrawny little trees, a super tall. I think they would look great over in the, probably the glade, actually. You could use them in a dream snap or so. As you can see, they look great in the background. But I do like this item. I don't exactly know where I'm going to use them just yet, but I'm glad that I have it. And I thought it was interesting that they hid one of these like tree types into one of the lore book pages. So very cool. Up next, we got the Beauty and the Beast puzzle. This tapestry looks absolutely gorgeous as well. And with this, you get an interesting an item, an item I didn't think I was going to get from this. And that is this pocket watch necklace right here. It actually looks pretty good, and it's probably going to look great with a bunch of different outfits. I don't know how often I'm going to use it, probably in a dream snap, but it's one of those things I like it and I appreciate it. I just don't know how much I'm actually going to use it. It looks like it fits my character very nicely as well. But yeah, a pocket watch necklace, very interesting for sure. Up next is the Aladdin tapestry. After you complete this puzzle right here, you actually get a chair and this one is a little bit confusing to me. So this is it. It's actually called the Agrabah chair. And I have seen every version of Aladdin before multiple times. And I got to say, I don't recognize this chair and it definitely isn't giving me Agrabah vibes. If anything, it's giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes with the chair, just the heart, the color of it and everything. So if you guys know what this possibly like where the connection is, let us know in the comment section below. I mean, it's nice. It's a new chair. I mean, we have a lot of chairs. And I'll definitely take it. But for all of the Aladdin items, I kind of felt like they could have given us something differently, especially when our character still does not sit on the chair correctly. But I'll still take it. It's a lovely item either way. 
Now for the next one, it is actually Cinderella theme. This tapestry, I think, just looks absolutely gorgeous. The item, on the other hand, is still pretty cool. It's at least different. They gave us like a wallpaper. It is this vintage green wallpaper right here. I don't know what to think of it just yet. I kind of like it. Like the design it reminds me of a kiwi, but it's very in your face. Like when you're walking around in this room, it is definitely very in your face. Uh, the textures are a little bit off. The line, if you can see it, is very like, um, it doesn't line up properly, but I think they'll fix that in the future. But also who's really looking at that? So who, who cares too much? The floor, you could change up the floor. I, I feel like you could have all kinds of different floors that would go really nicely with this. Let's take a look at some of them. Um, oh gosh, definitely not that one. <laughs> but we have a wooden floor. It looks all right. You could probably have some crazy one like this green marble. Oh my gosh, that one's just hard on the eyes. Actually, you know what? I don't know which floor would look good here. We got the minty one. Maybe you could do some sort of bakery and this wallpaper might work in with that. Ah, they kind of clash. I don't know. You guys let me know if you come up with a good combination with these. But there you go. New wallpaper. The next one is Encanto. This is obviously a super gorgeous tapestry right here. But the item we get is so much better. They ended up giving us this door. Look how bright it is. It's very large. I threw it in one of my storage rooms right here just to show you guys but it is just crazy so the door's name is actually oh i don't i don't have an extra one here we go hold up let's do that it's this magical family door right here so as you can see you can move it around it you can even like place it on the chest for whatever reason i'm sure that's just a bug but it is a very cool item it's probably one of my most favorite doors i just can't believe how much it actually sticks out i like that it lights up you can see the magical family and everything so definitely one of my more favorite items. After that, we ended up getting Moana over here. This tapestry is really gorgeous as well. And the item that they gave us is pretty interesting. You unlock a new path. Now, I know there wasn't like any new paths added to the game, which is very, very disappointing. But we did get a new leafy one. And it's actually under uh, the underbrush here. So it's kind of like this magnolia path that we had. But we got this plumeria flower path. And it does look good on certain areas. And then other areas, it's just really hard to see. So like if I were to put it on top of this muddy path, it looks great. If I were to place it over here, it is kind of hard to see it, especially if you're doing like a dream snap photo. But if you put it in some other biomes, it may work well. But it's pretty much just like some white flowers and then some little green leaves. But I, I do like it. And I like that they expanded on, you know, the, the pathings in the game, even though we didn't get like actual full blown paths during this update. After that, we're going over to the Lion King. I love the Lion King, but I got to say this item is a little bit weak because it is a chair, which we kind of saw and assumed it's this giant leaf chair, but it's it's not giant at all. I mean, I guess it's a big leaf, but it's not a giant chair. So they were technically right. It's a giant leaf and then a chair, but definitely not a giant chair. And this is how your character sits on it. Kind of a funny item. I don't know what I'm really going to use this for, but I kind of wish they made it a bit larger just to make it like just crazy. One of them crazy items that they add in the game. I'll definitely take it. Up next is Sleeping Beauty. Look how gorgeous this tapestry is. I love how they like tell the full story. I love this and there's so many amazing items for Sleeping Beauty. I'm actually surprised at the reward. So unfortunately, I'm not trying to bash these. I'm just giving you guys my honest review and there's still amazing items on the way. But they did just give us this Bard's Cap right here. And I felt like, you know, for a Sleeping Beauty, they could have gave us so many insane items. It's a gorgeous film. It's a very creative film. I will take it. I like the feather actually at the top even though it's kind of disappearing on me when you look at it at the backside. But uh, it's giving some Robin Hood vibes a little bit too. I love it. I just, I wish it was for like a different thing, you know, a different theme. Monsters Inc. A tapestry looks pretty good. It's pretty repetitive with just mainly Mike and Sully over and over and over. And it's probably also the one item that's, I would say this is probably my least favorite or second least favorite item. It's just a corporate ceiling lamp and it's just pretty standard, you know. Uh, you can't even like reach up there and turn it on. It hangs pretty low and it's going to work great for office builds, office spaces, you know. 
and especially for dream snaps revolving around that so it is a cool item it's just again for these really like whimsical lore book pages i was surprised they just gave us a little ceiling lamp but it's a pretty simple puzzle and it is a nice free item as well and like i said it will have a lot of uses it's just I felt like it could have been done a little bit more perfect opportunity of these lore book pages to add some crazy like premium tier items all right now as the puzzles got harder the items got even better so we have mulan here this is the tapestry but the item we get for completing mulan's puzzle is so cool so it is actually this garden temple right here look how massive this is it doesn't even take off my path i am in love with this item i know when i saw it i was like this is one of those things i just have to go for unfortunately the bottom stays the orange color if you place it on like the path here but if you move it over here you could see that it blends in you know with it you have the orange going into the green and then say you take it over to mythopia it actually changes into a yellow color so then going over to say the Forgotten Lands or even the Frosted Heights, I'm assuming would do the same thing. Let's go test it out. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird to be over here in the normal valley. <laughs> okay, let's place this thing down. So the Garden Temple, oh yeah, it makes it look a little like uh, icy. Got some snow going on. You can't interact with it, but this is one of those items, like I said, it's really whimsical and it's definitely more of like a premium item. I wish there was like a little fire or something going on in there. And it's probably one of those items I'm going to put in my valley somewhere for sure. Up next is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Tapestry looks incredible. And the item is pretty good. You can't interact with it. But if you guys are like me, you like pretty much anything Nightmare Before Christmas. And while it's not a massive extravagant item... It is something that's definitely great and it's going to fit in perfectly in one of my builds that I already have. Again, you can't interact with it at all and it doesn't light up, but it is the Halloween, um, yeah, the Halloween town clock. After that, we got the Princess and the Frog and I gotta say, this item is super cool and the tapestry matches that because look how incredible this is but check out this item that we actually ended up getting so it's the princess and the frog chest and you place it down and it's an itty bitty chest look how cute i will say unfortunately there's only two rows but that's okay i mean i really love it for decorating purposes anyways I can store my stuff over in, you know, other chests in my storage room. So I don't really need it for storage. It's going to be great for so many dream snaps, especially like pirate themed ones. It's going to be awesome. I love it. I actually think I might try to incorporate this in at this week's um, sleeping, like sleepover dream snap as well. I don't know how, but I'm, I think I'm going to do it. I love it, though. It's such a cool item and it's very, very cute. Next, we got little Lilo and Stitch. These characters are just perfect. Everybody loves them. And they ended up giving us Lilo's bunk bed. Now, I know you guys may be thinking like, oh, it's just a bed. We have a lot of beds. We have some bunk beds. But it's really nice to get these new items from these specific universes. And it's a very bright bunk bed. You could also use this in this week's Dream Snap as well. Uh, it's got the little rope ladder at the end. It's very bright in color. It's got the moon and stars on there. And I do like it. I think it's really great. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. You cannot sit or lounge on it. Unfor oh, hold up. You can on one side. I spoke too soon. You can. You are you got the blanket in your face, but you can sit on it on one side. Let's see the other side. Oh, hold up. You have to get it in just the right spot. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I, I like this item. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch Island looks pretty good. Now, I know Tangled is probably one of the most favorite universes here in Disney for most of you. And the item that they give us did not disappoint. So look at the tapestry, how beautiful it is. Literally shows off pretty much the entire film. And this item, I'm sure a lot of you are really going to enjoy. And it is this potted blooming tree right here. Look how gorgeous it is with these little flowers that are blossoming. The pot that it's in looks awesome. It's got like some soil, some mud down there. And I feel like you can put it pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, you can actually get it pretty close to like the fence. Imagine framing up a dream snap photo with this thing. And you can get more of this stuff. I'll show you at the end of the video. But I know this is going to be a fan favorite item for sure. 
Now, you know, our boy Wally had to get a awesome tapestry and the item is pretty interesting. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's definitely an interesting item. We got this transportation table and it is a table. You can place things on it. It has six squares on there. You can also use this as like a vehicle. So, you know, we have lots of motorcycles and we have like Oswald's car and some other stuff. You could possibly use this also to have in like some sort of parking lanes or just in some sort of display. It's going to work great with a lot of the futuristic items. It does glow a little bit. It just has those little lines. Not very bright. You can't sit on it or interact with it in any way, unfortunately, but you can place some stuff on top of it. Wreck-It Ralph is up next. Unfortunately, we don't still we still don't have a Ralph in the game, but the item that they included is really cool. So back to our little house here. If you scroll down, we got the Royal Candy Doors. And while it doesn't give off like massive candy vibes, if anything to me, it's kind of like steampunk meets willy wonka it definitely is giving more willy wonka vibes and i'm actually a huge fan of any of the doors in the game even though i don't build too much in room let's see if it has a sound effect hold on oh it doesn't have any sound at all each door usually has a different sound but this one didn't i love this door though like i said it's giving some willy wonka vibes maybe when we get the alice in wonderland update we'll get some more items that are going to go perfectly with this door but i do enjoy it the next tapestry you have to complete is the sword in the stone and this one obviously is a really great picture but i will say the item for this is a little lackluster just because again i know what they have in here like the items they have they could have given us the best items ever and we do have some cool sword in the stone items but they really just gave us another chair it's this medieval wooden chair right here and it does fit the vibe i actually have a build going on over here that i probably could use instead so I have this like set up with these little bear chairs right here and I have like a tavern style thing going on. I've been building over here in the bind. I got my root beer, my uh, meat pie, some bread and everything. So I guess technically if I wanted to, I could swap out the bears and just include these new chairs here. And they look pretty good. So you guys let me know, are we thinking bear or are we thinking the new medieval chairs over here? Hercules is up next. It has a pretty great tapestry, especially a little baby Hercules over here. And the item is incredible. I can't wait to show you guys. They ended up giving us the Fountain of Thebes. I cannot believe they gave us this. This is definitely a premium tier item. Look at the swirl. Look at the water. Oh, this looks incredible. You cannot interact with it. Also, look at this. Imagine making multiple of this and just using that as a wall for Dream Snaps and see um, how close they are. If they're like perfectly touching each other, it's gonna be the best thing ever, but super cool item. And I'm sure you can actually place it up against the wall. Let me see if I can find a space right here. Uh, let's see, let's try maybe over here on the back. Yeah, you can actually place it all the way up against stuff, which is nice. Oh, hold up. Okay, it's let me rotate. It wasn't letting me for a second. I was about to say, hold the phone, but yeah, super incredible item. Looks like the grass is sticking through it a little bit, which is fine with me. That's not gonna bother me actually, but if it is gonna bother you, now you know. We got Frozen up next. This tapestry looks really great too. Also pretty much tells the entire story. And this one is actually an outfit, or it's really a costume. So instead of dresses, you go over to the costumes and let's see, we get this a Queen Iduna costume gown. It's been forever since I've seen Frozen. I think this is Anna's mother's outfit. I could be wrong. I actually love the pattern back here. I love how bright it is. It's a pretty nice uh, item. Let's see if there's any clipping issues. It doesn't look like it. I could slap on the fox real quick. It kind of looks good with my character, no? Yeah, I think it looks great. Let's see, we could even try the dragon pose. The char oh, my character's too cute, I'm sorry. She is. Let's try the fox real quick. That's always like the one pose to try out to see if something is like actually broken or not. Let's see. Uh, we got the pink whimsical one. That'll work. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any clipping issues or anything. It's a pretty nice dress. We only have a handful left, but moving on to the little mermaid. This is what the tapestry looks like. And for this one, we actually have to head back inside. So for this one, they actually ended up giving us some windows. It's this sea palace window. 
and I know a lot of you actually really like the window, so you're going to enjoy this. I will say it kind of looks similar to some of the other ones we have, like the even the other Little Mermaid window, actually. So let's go take a look at that one. So here was the Seaside Royal windows, and as you see, they are almost the same design, which is a good thing, actually, because you want to have more options while retaining the same color and same design and everything. So if you're someone that really likes this whole aesthetic, you definitely have another version here. They're almost exactly the same. They just got a little difference at the top and then one smaller. And then this one obviously is a large piece here. Now really quickly, I'm curious. You can, in fact, put the Fountain of Thieves inside. Oh, that is cool. And then the bunk beds, of course, look really great in here. You can put most of these items inside, it looks like. We cannot forget about Ratatouille. This puzzle was actually kind of difficult, as you can imagine, with all the little swirls and stuff. And for the item, I mean, it's kind of hard to get an outdoor item. So this one is definitely more indoor. It's a Ratatouille sign right here. And I kind of like that it hangs above the doors, you know? So if you were like someone that makes like a restaurant or a, a bakery or some sort of build like that, you may end up enjoying this. You cannot place it outside, but look at that. It actually says La Ratatouille ratatouille on the on the signage there so i really like this actually it's one of those just kind of a weird it may be a little bit of a niche item for a lot of people because a lot of people are probably never going to use it but i think it looks cool imagine they gave us a giant sign like that to place outside or stick to a tree or something <laughs> we're down to the last three and this next one toy story is probably going to make you laugh because this item i didn't know what to expect from it this dump truck but it's actually a dump truck chair. <laughs> There's a lot of chairs in this, but look at that. We got the little uh, little toy character in the front seat there and you can actually sit in it. So I find this one to be super funny. I'm gonna and put it in my build somewhere. I don't know, the bright color might take, you know, it might stand out, but I kind of got some orange and some yellows going on in this biome, so. Maybe I'll place the dump truck right here. Can you place some toy aliens in there? That would have been cool. It doesn't look like you can put anything. Oh, if only I could put Forky up there. I mean, I know it's a chair. It's not like a table or something like that. But I wish I would have been able to play, uh, place Forky up there. But yeah, I got this little setup area that I thought was really um cute that I designed. I think that's my... Yeah, I think I'll just leave that there. Moving on to Brave, this is what the tapestry right here looks like. And the item is kind of what you expected. We ended up getting the rug. This is the Change of Fate rug. Now, when you place it down, it's not super large. It does look nice. And it looks like this is the exact same one that's actually in her house. I am a huge fan of any of the rugs in the game. I like to just place them, you know, wherever. I don't know if that's going to go there, but... Uh, I the more options we get for rugs the better especially while using them in dream snaps I like to have them at my character's feet or at the entrances of most stores like right here I have this little autumn rug at the front of my little mansion that I have and I think it looks really cute Now the moment you all waited for the sorcerer's apprentice this looks so cool And they gave us the best item they definitely saved the best item for last so if I go to wardrobe we scroll down we have the book glider. When we first saw this thumbnail, we didn't know what it was going to be. But it turns out it's an actual glider. And look at that. We actually levitate off the ground. So this tells me we will most definitely be able to get like the, the magic carpet. Because they have us sticking out just a little bit. And then look at this. It leaves the little trail. The same trail as the snippets. It has the little letters from the pages coming out of it. And I don't think I'm ever going to take this off until we get something better in the game. Because currently, I think this may be the best glider in the game. And I love that they saved it for the Sorcerer Mickey thing. And then we're also supposed to be able to use this stuff in a Dream Snap. So like a pose. Let's try it out. Here we go. So if you want to do a pose like this in a Dream Snap, you can. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the magic or the letters or anything coming out of it. It would have been nice to have the option to have that on or off. And it's also very close to the camera. You could obviously take it and like do this, but then it's kind of on the ground. So just know if you're using this for a dream snap, that's what you're going to run into. But but first, we got to go check out. I, forgot, I got to show you how to craft these things. So to craft these things and get more of them, most of them you just go over here to your furniture tab. Like the garden temple right here takes 10 stone, two ruby, some petrified wood, some gravel. 
and some crimson eternal flowers a lot of this stuff takes story magic to craft which is very expensive the fountain of thieves look at this 500 story magic to be able to get this one the dump truck chair the dump truck the dump truck chair 500 storybook magic the door 500 it's insanely expensive 500 for this ratatouille sign look how much magic you would have to get just to get more of these chairs uh even the chest here 500 and 25 snippets of the green frog which actually isn't too hard to get but if you were wanting to craft like 50 of them you know oh man they they're crazy expensive but it is what it is and then um yeah, a lot of these other items are just basic items in the game. They're also expensive as well. But no, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next one.